Hi everyone, Dave Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week one of our Woodall Street project in Black Rock and it's been a ginormous week by the boys, really proud of them, um, the way they go about working hard, getting everything demolished and then we're started on framing and of course lots of discussions on how we're going to manage this one going forward. Uh, ordering of everything and um, working out final measurements. So let's get into it. We're looking at what was the kitchen. Um, so we've removed all the bulkheads that went around that top section there. They were actually doing nothing. They were just for looks. That's what they used to do in the old days. Um, and obviously we've cut some of the floor up so that we can modify a lot of the plumbing. Um, you can see here the age of the plumbing. A lot of this plumbing is ancient, 1960s home. Um, we, we we plan to replace as much of it as we can. All the copper will come out, all the brand new uh, hot and water, hot and cold water lines will be replaced. And along with a lot of the electrical as well, it's just a debacle everywhere. It's just like wires going everywhere, things not needed, intercon systems that they used to have and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, so uh, start of this week, we will remove this part of the frame. Um, there is a stack or a, a breather pipe that goes up the wall there and into the ceiling. That's from downstairs. We need to keep that. So we probably leave that in place and then just go from that timber there across. So there'll be a lintel put in here in this non-load bearing wall. Uh, we're just going to keep um, a little nib wall on that end just so that the pelmets above the curtains can stay and then that'll still open up. So it'll just look like it's supposed to be there. Um, and of course you can see everything's been covered and everything's protected and all that sort of stuff. So from this side here, this bit of uh, hydronic heating will go. Um, a lot of that's been removed as well as we've gone along. So that there, that'll be cut out and done early in the week next week. Um, so not much to say in here in relation to the kitchen other than it's pulled out, everything's great. There's no timber rot, there's nothing wrong. Um, and you know, just the usual things that we found find in every single renovation. Uh, we're going to put a lintel underneath that existing lintel. So we're not really modifying anything so much there. We're actually adding to the strength of it, but that will allow us to then actually put a sliding cavity door in this part of the wall. Um, so let's move on into the ensuite. Um, and this is where a massive part has changed. So this is where we used to walk into the bathroom and you can see the floors all up. Uh, and that's so that we could get a really good look at the plumbing. You can see here the old stack goes down into the pit and then out the walls and so forth. It's all gal steel. It goes right up and out the ceiling. There was another one that actually went out through this side of the ceiling. It was actually attached here to the vanity. This is where the vanity used to be. Um, so a lot of this has to be modified, uh, removed and modified. This is where the bulk of the plumbing work is going to be uh, required because obviously there's a toilet that goes in here. I'm not going to go into massive details today, but a toilet goes in here on this side of these joists. So we have to get a plumbing point across here and under that, into that and out through there. So that's going to be a real mission to get that done. Um, but we will be able to do it. I think we have to go into a cupboard in the garage and then across. Um, so obviously this is where the old shower was in the ensuite. And as always, I mean, it's really rotted. Uh, all that whole bottom plate in the wall is completely rotted out. Um, and you can see here, you know, even the floor is quite rotted. But it's nothing that we weren't expecting. Uh, it's all, yeah. It's all as per norm and it's nothing that we can't fix. There's a huge steel beam that runs through there, through the front of the house. Um, so yeah, we're not worried about anything structural at all. So we'll just replace what we need to replace. Uh, we'll run a strip grade across the black back there with a big walk-in shower. Um, now, one of the other things that we noticed, if you look here at this bit of timber here, it's just flaking away as we, you know, it just pulls away. And that's because it's all borers. So that whole edge of that timber there, that's all eaten out by borers. And of course, it goes all the way along to this side there. Now, it's nothing to worry about because borers are actually in a tree before the timber's put in the house and they actually come out of the timber over time. It's not like a termite that makes its way in after the house is built. 
So nothing to really worry about. We'll just either laminate timber to it or replace what's necessary. Um, so that's really all we have to say in the room here. We are going to remove this um, window. I'm just gonna walk back this way so you can get a better idea. So that window there, that's going to be removed now so that we can put the shower head there on the end. Um, and that's gonna be a beautiful big um, ensuite there. You can see there's a really big window inside the ensuite, plenty of light. You can see even today. I mean, today is really dark, rainy, and it's still very bright in this room. It's made a big difference. So basically you're gonna walk into an ensuite in this, into a walk-in robe on this side, and you'll walk through into uh, the ensuite bathroom through there and then yeah a little powder toilet in that section over there so you, it'll make more sense as we go along and we frame it we are lowering the heights of the ceilings in these rooms um, one of the things that we're going to do which makes sense is see that old exhaust fan that actually vents outside the roof um, and so where we've got the top of our frame, it'll be just in underneath that, that ventilation um, so that the ceiling space above the ceiling in the bathroom will also ventilate outside of that vent there. Uh, and there's also a light. So uh, when we build the new ceilings in here, um, there'll be some storage space. It'll have a light in there and there'll also be ventilation outside of that ceiling cavity space so that makes sense there um, moving on uh, through the house um, all of this is is protected as you can see all of the the office is completely protected um, we have removed the plaster on this side here where the cap new cavity door is going to enter the kitchen um, and then as we come downstairs you'll see there's been lots of work here as well. So we'll go, um, well, we can might as well start here. All of that has been removed. Um, there was an old heater here. We've also removed the old ironing board and the old linen cupboard that was in this space here. So that's ready for new cabinetry. All of this is going to be removed by and altered by the hydronic company um, next week, and oh, I think on Monday. Now in here, um, this is the old ensuite. We have completely removed it, all the floor and everything. Uh, we've reframed the shower. We put a big lintel up on that wall there so that you've got a big niche, shower niche. Uh, we have cut through the slab to move and alter the floor waste to be a center waste as we require. We're not going to be able to put a strip grate here. We can put a center waste and that's completely fine. We have checked out all along the these timbers here so that we can get drainage from the vanity back out the wall without having a little box section along the wall uh, we have reframed this wall here and we've actually that's for the vanity uh, dividing the ensuite and the vanity we actually found 200 mil of space so you can actually have a 400 deep vanity there and we also are recessing the mirror cabinet so that's really really cool um, the only thing that I'm going to do in here, which is good for ventilation, is I'm going to build a box section of ceiling down and across here, and it'll go the full width of this side to that place there. So it'll go to that exe there. So it'll go across, and it'll be a drop ceiling on this side. It'll allow me to put a down light there. It'll allow me also to put a heat light almost in the center of the room there and ventilation that'll go outside the wall there. So utilizing what's in the space and we're going to put a new window in there because that one is completely stuffed, if I can say that. So floors up, everything's done. Wardrobe's out in this room here. We've reframed it. We've actually gained 20 or 30 mil in the wardrobe as well on those open shelves. So we've got a 400 mil deep or 450 mil deep vanity now with a 330 or 340 mil shelf, which is fantastic. Better on both sides into the main bathroom. So massive amount of work done in here. So the floor's all up. Uh, we've hung a new ceiling. Um, so basically we've straightened it up. It was out of level, really bad. We've lowered it slightly so that it fits a heat light fan unit if required. Uh, we have put a big lintel in up there above where the bath is going and that is the new bath niche. We have cut the slab up, um, so this is where the bath waste will connect to the old existing. 
This is for the shower where we put our strip grate in this shower. We'll be able to do it in this room. We'll connect to that drainage there and then we'll grind the floor down here to create fall. So it's a really big shower. We've started moving the timbers in the wall there as well here and here. And that's for a big lintel for our, um, our shower niche. Um, so you can see here all those new timbers up in the ceiling. Um, and it's literally the whole ceiling's been redone. Now on this side of the room, this is where the vanity will be hung. And that's for the big new shaving cabinet. So there's a lintel up above that wall there. These walls running this way are not load bearing. So um, yeah, it's not required as a big lintel as, as uh, say for instance, above this wall here, that's a massive lintel there. We're not touching that one. So um, we're, we're going to be ordering the window for this next week and the new door, of course. Um, and uh, the only issue I can see with plumbing at this point, we need to discuss this toilet point here. Um, to get that waste point out and to the other side of the wall into that drain there is going to be monumental because there's a footing here. So we do need to discuss how we're going to do that, the most cost effective and best way so you don't get any problems with using the toilet. The drainage for this vanity will go out through the wall and into this waste point there. So that's that's pretty cool because we don't have to cut that across to there. Um, and then in the toilet, we've pulled that out today. Um, so the, the downstairs powder has been removed. The toilet still sits in place. This is so the boys can use it. Tiles are up, two, two, two uh, levels of tile. And when we removed the uh, mirror, there was a massive amount of mold on that wall there. Um, I mean, it's an old house. It's the back of the garage. There's a lot of, um, that's actually where the stack goes down in there, that pit from upstairs. Um, so we're going to remove all that plaster, make sure it's nice for the client, it's safe, and and it's all new and it's not going to fall apart once we paint it. Um, but yeah, again, making good progress in this room as well. So you might be able to see here, all of the bedrooms are all taped up. Everything is um, secured and looked after underneath our uh, renovation work. So massive amount of work done in the first week by the boys. Uh, we haven't done anything in the downstairs uh, games room or anything like that. Um, but this next week coming, it's a huge week of carpentry again in preparation for the plumbers and electricians in the following week. Of course, this week, um, the electricians and plumbers have already been through, discussed everything with us. My electrician made everything safe. Um, he's disconnected everything. He's supplied power where needed. Um, and um, therefore, it is a safe site to work in uh, by the boys. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards to week two. Everything's going really well at this stage. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Cheers.